Hello guys, I'm Mr. Fast XD here, and as you can see from the title, it says about the Knights and Dragons rant and what they should do next year. So, as the first off, they handed out a holiday pack, which is really nice. And yesterday it came out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to release this somewhere today, but yesterday it might be gone before you guys even see this. But um, yesterday the holiday pack came, and as you can see, Timmy Gamer, if you guys watch him, he did all this like awesome stuff with the holiday pack bonus because the servers so many people bought it i can't even buy it myself and my guild members and all my guild members couldn't even buy it because so many people were buying this and they were getting so much money off from this holiday pack i think they should put more of them out there so we won't have to delay and wait for like a whole entire day just to grab one of these holiday packs now i'm pretty sure the servers are still laggy the servers are, are already broken from when they put the pets in. I think they should really change that up. I mean, I really don't know what's the thing behind them, but like last time the servers were perfect when like Reversal was doing all that rant and they kind of changed their servers, but now the servers are a bit more la like a lot more laggy. I just shouldn't say a bit. The pets really didn't change anything. I really don't like the pets because I think it's kind of going out of control but the rings and amulets i'll take when the rings and amulets came out i was like whoa what the heck i never heard of this and when the pets came out i'm just like uh it's cool it's kind of like that thing but um another thing is hopefully they can bring back the legendaries where you can craft them for seven hours that would be nice because seven hours is basically my school time which right when i come back home my legendaries will be ready and I will be able to make more legendary fusions so that's an up for me too the free gems thing that completely does not work really in the morning you it's the best time to get video offers but on both of my accounts at least one of them gets about 15 gems each day we really can't get the gems fully like 30 like we usually would. I mean, one of my main account gets about 30 every other day, but they need to update this and make sure the video offers work because all my guild members are saying the video the video offers for the free gems are not working as good as they used to after the pets. And they're still very buggy as you can see. And a lot of people just use the regular offers and get about like 40 gems or whatever. Another one is about the fusions. Now, one thing about fusions is I really like doing them, but there comes to a certain point where fusions are just kind of meh now. And I would like them to be, for you to be able to fuse dragon forges. I that'd be nice. I can see why people really don't like that, but at least the lower level of dragon forges, like the Phoenix Ward, be able to fuse. That would be very nice. Because a lot of epics, like the latest epics, I think it's like the pirate's forge or I don't know. The pirate armor is stronger than the Phoenix Ward regular. So I think they should do that because it'd be kind of useless without any new fusions. Because I'm pretty sure I don't want to fuse all this away until there is really a new patch with more like epics or dragon forges to fuse with so i'm not going to be doing an epic fusion for a while until new patches of armor come out because the last patch of armor came out about like what is it three or two months ago i think and then timmy gamer was able to fuse a dragon forge they really haven't announced that on the wiki or whatever it might have been a mistake that they let it be fusible or they just didn't like people having I don't know it was very confusing because I don't I used to be able to see it on the wiki and then for some reason it disappeared and every time I didn't I haven't heard ever since Timmy Gamer ever got the Dragon Forge I'm not sure if you guys have pictures or whatever to prove it but I've heard that it's fusible but I really haven't been seeing it for a very long time and that's the only fusible Dragon Forge I would know but I hope there is a lot more Dragon Forge. It's like just mono. I don't like the uh, the dual elements. 
I don't think they should do that yet, but they should probably just do the mono elements first, which would be really nice. And I will have something to strive for and hopefully get another awesome Dragon Forge because I only have like two or three in this Legendary Assassin's account. So I'm just going to end the thing right here. So if you guys have any comments or more things you guys would like to add on to the Knights and Dragons rant video or what they should do next year and fix up and be a lot more better, just leave it in the comments below. And so what do you guys like about my opinions on the game and what it should change and all that stuff and and what they should do next year please leave a like if you guys liked this and please subscribe to check out all my other videos and i will be doing epic fusion soon so see you guys and bye